Welcome to all for shooters. We received from Pulsar the brand new Axion XM38, a thermal imaging monocular based on a new amorphous silicon microbolometer sensor featuring a reduced pixel pitch of 12 micrometers, a native resolution of 320 by 240 pixels, running at a full frame rate of 50 hertz. is the smallest, lightest, and most compact thermal imaging monocular ever offered by Pulsar. Less than 15 centimeters long. This thing is so small and compact. We received the top of the line XM38 model, sporting a fast 1.2 aperture, 38 millimeter focal length germanium objective lens with a native magnification of 5.5 per made possible by the greater crop factor offered by the smaller 12 micrometer sensor. In addition, there is also digital zoom up to 22 per. The Axion integrates a 1024 by 768 resolution AMOLED full color micro display inside the eyepiece. Other features include a built-in video recorder with internal memory, I think it's 16 gigs, a Wi-Fi module supporting the free Stream Vision app and a USB port for charging and data exchange. The Axion turns on almost immediately thanks to the new state-of-the-art digital engine and latest generation U-less sensor. The housing is entirely built out of magnesium alloy with high quality fit and finish. It is the very rugged, light, it weights only 270 grams and is waterproof IPX7 certified which means that it can be briefly submerged down to a meter of water. Power is supplied by a proprietary lithium rechargeable battery, which lasts about four hours. But let's see the Axion in detail. The thermal viewer feels tough and locks great. We must say that it appears to be superior in materials and build quality to any previous Pulsar model we've handled before. The Axion comes standard with a camcorder style hand strap that simplifies use with one hand only. A nice touch is the magnetic lock for the lens cover. The hand strap can be mounted on the other side for lefties and all controls are perfectly ambidextrous. The user interface includes just four soft touch buttons located on the top of the device with excellent ergonomics. The battery is ejected by pressing the button that is located immediately below the front lens. A small LED above the eyepiece indicates the status of the device and the battery. The diopter adjustment is a bit stiff as is uh, focusing, avoiding any movement during use. Uh, the minimum focus distance is about 3 meters. During operation, I kind of missed the encoder knob, but all settings, including the advanced ones, are quite easy to adjust and in the end, quite intuitive. Performance. Performance is excellent. Thanks to the high magnification, it is possible to detect objects at a great distance. The manufacturer claims up to 1700 meters. Image quality is very good. In our opinion, it is just about equivalent to that of the Pulsar Hellion monocular. Perhaps the optical quality of the eyepiece could be improved, but this is the size that we, we have and maybe it couldn't be much better than this. Compared to the Pulsar, current Pulsar production, the Axion is a high quality but mainstream product. The model is currently offered only with 320 and 200 by 40 pixel resolution, while the Hellion, which remains the Pulsar Pro series, is also available with a sensor uh, of uh, 640 by 480 resolution. In our opinion, this is a product that will attract many enthusiasts and professionals. The Axion is suitable for hunting, law enforcement and surveillance. While the top of the range XM38 version we are testing today has an MSRP around 2500 euros, the Axion series starts with the key XM22, which is very affordably priced under 1400 euros.